ASHA strike enters 140th day, Serap, others lampoon federal government, details on page 15 of the Punch newspaper. APC and PDP have failed, Oshun desires new hands. Our Gumbi, a court party candidate, says details on page 8 of the Punch newspaper. You know, this ASHA strike just gets mm. worse and worse. Mm. Worse and worse by the day because you think that instead of going towards the resolution of the crisis, they're getting away from it. Uh, what's the last time you heard government talk about us striking? It is not they just pick pass over it. And like like the Buhari administration, Chris mm. Gigi is also in offline mode now. They're counting their days. I'm not sure Chris is interested in writing any document to can pacify ASU mm. or to go even talk to them. He's just saying that uh, December will soon reach January, February, March will end. Let new minister come and come and talk. I'm sure that's the mood. That's the mood the government has already entered. You know, that's why it's very dangerous, you know, that to leave all this matter unresolved mm. and then enter election election year in year. You know, that you can see the, the action is elections. You know, the politicians have now after primaries, after the very deep contest of the primaries, mm. they have not taken a break. The main contenders for the 2020 and I abroad all of them, mentioned them, except Peter B. The other ones, I took a back, um, in fact, he said was in the U.S. yesterday, and I took a back, you know, has a problem of en with entering the United States. Mm. So his camp is saying he's in the U.S. Another person said was in Spain on Friday evening. Uh, Governor Wiki has just returned from Turkey with Governor Pazzo and some others, mm. you know, with Governor Mackinde. Uh, but actually, he is in France. Since he traveled, I haven't seen one picture of him in France. You know, but they say he's in France. These are the major content. The President Bada has just come back from a five-day holiday in Port, uh, oh, no. state visit to Portugal. You know, you can see the, there's already a sense of this does not this is not a problem anymore you know so i really sympathize with nigerian students who are waiting for us they get that getting old at home yesterday on on our program of, uh, po po uh, the editor's file yesterday mm. a caller analyzed how consistent this asu strike has been since he was in primary school it just keeps happening year and year year and year so much that a young person who enters university you know at the age of 1920 comes out of university is already due for ready due for exemption for, for NYC for marriage uh, <laughs> almost 30 years old you spend almost five ten, you know because of consistent strikes and with this mm. the test one as is not budging because he says renegotiation come mm. to the table throw up 200 billion and we commit to talk what we want is 1.3 trillion you know and the government is saying we don't have that kind of cash and we want to so we set up a committee to renegotiate it they have 2009 agreement and the renegotiation of me will start from the beginning. We're well, not dropping any cash, we're well, paying your salary. Use that one, you know. So you can see there's a major <laughs> sense of difference between these two parties. <laughs> Coming to the table to talk now is even more difficult than anything else. It's only 140 days of this strike. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.